Hello everyone, my name is Mzeta Rotondra and I'm back again with another tutorial whereby I will be teaching you how to do what we call it property procedure. This is CP Computer Programming Level 4 TVET College. If you remember last year you used to do what we call it OOP, Object Oriented Programming now. This year, which is level four, you do what we call it implementing the property procedures. Now, this is our interface that we are having, the interface that has got length and breadth as an input and the output as an area. Now, when it comes to implementing the property procedure, one thing you need to understand is using the gates and also the sets blocks now what you do is you come to your view um way to your project and then you do what we call it add class and then you add the class the class that i'm gonna add myself now here i'm gonna name it rectangle let me remove this one with class and then write rectangle here we go and i've added the class there this is it. Now, under my class, one thing you need to know is that we are given um, two things that are to be private and also others that are going to be public properties. So now, those that are to be private is our length and our breadth. So then now let's say okay it appears private length s integer and also let's do private breadth all right breadth s integer now under here let's create our public public property public property called length called length um let me use um, underscore yeah let me use underscore shift underscore length here we go sorry 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 length s integer and now this is the part whereby i told you we are to use the get and also the set blocks now this is the get blocks this is how you do the get you click get and then under get you click enter and automatically you will get end get as you know in programming whatever you open you have to close it so once you open by gate you close by say by end gate and then it gives you set underneath now on the gate we return we return our length spelling spelling did i yeah i typed it wrong we return our length and then under our set blocks we put this whereby we go for length equals to or assign to values value all right thank you then under set let's come with a second one let's come with a second one the second one let's say we have length and we have break now we say public what am i trying to happen i i'm just from saying whatever you open you must close so public property that we have opened here we have to close this here so under the end of property we create another public property this one i'm 
let's call it red. Red. Let's paint it. Underneath we get to get. Enter. As I've told you, once you, you type get and then space bar, and then you click enter underneath and it gives you the options. You then on under under get you that's where you have to return your you have to return your brick. There it is. Now here we have to say bread assigned to assigned to value. Now while we have opened by public property, we close by end property. We open by get, we close by end get. We open by set, we close by end set. So in programming, whatever you open, it has to be closed. All right. Now, if you remember in your level three, there's what we call it public function, if you remember. So also here, we are going to create a public function. So we say public function of the appeared. And then we say calc area, public function calc area. And then it will return decimal. So it will return decimal and then uh, gate. Return yes, length length. Let's say our position is length multiplied by by breadth. Whatever you open, you close. Public function is opened. It's also closed by end function. We are done with our public class that we have named rectangle now we go back to our form load or to our design interface and then under the button calculate we double click the button calculate this is it yes it is here now under this button we are going to declare dim don't forget we are dealing with rectangular dim rectangle Dim rectangle S. Uh, dim rectangle, let, let's say, so that we don't confuse us, let's say rectangle 1 S. A rectangle, yes. Dim rectangle 1 S, a rectangle, and then therefore we say rectangle 1 as we assign, we assign it to new rectangle. Assign it to new rectangle. Brackets there now. Let's say integer as we integer that right page. So far, I hope you are understanding. Inside our text box, the first one is txt length. We say dot text because it's a text box and then it's gonna carry what we have declared. It can be a rectangle one. Sorry, rectangle one. Wait, I'm taking out that length. Where is our length? So that length. There we go. We go. And then it, we do the same, but this time around we are doing it for integer dot right page inside. We have put our txt breadth. So this time around we are doing it for breadth dot text. Um, comma rectangle one dot okay breadth. Here we go. We are done with assigning part. Now the part that we are going to do now is display. 
current we are displaying as, as i've said now what what is the name of where we are going to display it's a txt where are we oh let me txt area dot dot text yes equals to let's say rectangle one rectangle one dot calc area yes calc area and then we put it inside the bracket and then we put it here to string since it's returning as decimal and then let's debug and see debug and see what's gonna happen nice it's debugging no errors so far no our length of this triangle is 45 in the breadth of this 20. this is the area of our triangle it's 900. this is how you do your this is how you do your programming under implementing of the property procedures simple as this as you can see the codes if you want them you will let me know and at the first section i will send you you can also join us on our facebook channel which is real technology deal whereby you are given a platform to ask any question to suggest any topic programming and then we come and then we answer also in this session you can also ask and we will answer you if you're new to this channel make sure that you subscribe so that you can get to be notified when i drop more videos thank you so much for watching this is cp computer programming level 4 of information technology and computer science tvet college my name is Mseda Rodondra and thank you so much for following our channel. Make sure that you subscribe and you like our videos and also you go tell others so that they can come and join us. God bless.